hello everyone i want to welcome you back to another episode of the dream series now it's another time in god's presence may the peace of the lord be with you all in jesus name all right today i want to discuss with you what it means to um, see blood in the dream all right so this video is all about um, blood dream meaning so i'm not here to scare anybody okay so i'm just here to just um give you different scenarios of what to see what um it means to see blood in the dream so if this video really really interests you i want you to just sit back and join me watch this video to the end it will so much bless you Hey, welcome back. This is Ghost Throne Television. My name is Titi Layo Adelani. If this is your very first time on stumbling on this channel, I want to say welcome, welcome. And this is what I do on this channel. I do dreams interpretation. I give you spiritual tips and I do prayer therapy, prophetic prayers. And um, if there are dreams that imposes dangers, by the help of the Holy Spirit, I give you what to do and there will be results. And there are good dreams too, that the devil is out there looking for whom to divorce so is there even destroying people's dreams you know the devil also comes in dreams too to destroy people's life all right so there are prayers you need to pray that will make those good dreams come to pass so if this channel is so much interest i want you to just subscribe to this channel and press the notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime i upload videos i upload videos every wednesday and friday of the week and my appreciation goes to all my subscribers out there thank you so much for subscribing to this channel thank you for supporting this channel thank you for pushing this pushing this channel to up to this level that it is today i want to say thank you and may god almighty bless you all right now today i will be looking at um different scenarios of um um blood in the dream so i've written down some things that i don't forget so i'm trying to i'll tell you some scenarios that um you need to take note of when you have um when you see blood in the dream and then one thing i want you to understand i want to establish some facts you know the bible also makes us to understand that the life of a man you know life of someone is in its blood okay blood is very very symbolic blood has a powerful message okay and um every man has blood that flows through his or blood vessel without blood in any man the man is dead you know and um every man that must live definitely blood must flow through that person's vein all right so what is the dream meaning if you see blood in the dream so that is what i want to share with you i'll be sharing different um scenario with you this hour and the very first thing on my list is um menstrual blood now if you sleep and you see menstrual blood you know either coming out of your body or law okay you know as a woman you know how important the menstruation is the monthly menstruation is but when you see it in the blo in the dream perhaps you are not even having it you're not having your your um your menstruation in the waking life but you see yourself having menstruation in the dream now it's telling you something now it's telling you that there should be a kind of renewal in an aspect of your life okay now renewal in the sense that probably you might be having some kind of habits habit as you know you have been struggling with over the years habit you have um, lived with for a very long time but this habit in one way or the other is not actually contributing to your life is not doing you any good okay so what this dream is trying to tell you that you need to um, um let go of this habit you know try and break loose from this habit the reason is because the kind of newness is coming to an aspect of your life and if that habit is not taken care of it can cause some kind of um um a kind of a stumbling block on your way okay so when you see menstrual, menstrual blood in the dream is telling you that a newness is coming to an aspect of your life that you need to work on a particular habit 
that has been drawing you back all right so and um, that is that that is about a menstrual blood now another thing is that when you see yourself bleeding yes another one bleeding you know physically when in the waking life when you see someone bleeding and that person is not taken to the hospital immediately i want to tell you that with the, with the in the matter of time minutes or hours the person might lose blood and at the end of everything the person might die that is how serious it is that is how serious it is but when you see yourself in the dream bleeding all right any part of your body your head your hand or something but you are bleeding seriously now um it's showing that um um uh, you're losing energy you're losing strength in the sense that you're getting tired of a particular aspect of your life you know it could be your job okay it could be the kind of business you're doing it could be the kind of relationship you find yourself you're getting tired and you're losing strength and i want you to look at it in another scenario okay another scenario in the sense that you someone is taking advantage of you and someone is using you or making use of your energy now there are some employers outside there yeah it's common with employers there are some employers out there that um, make use of their employees and um they use them to the extent that whenever gain or any kind of profit should come to them they find it very difficult to pay these people to pay them for the work they have done which is not a good thing at all so once you have this kind of dream even if this thing is not known to you probably um you feel that someone is cheating you feel someone is just using you feel someone is just um, robbing you of a lot of um, of things and um you keep asking yourself what it is and you have you have this kind of dream this dream should pass a message across to you that someone is using you someone is um is zapping your energy for his own advantage so you have to take note of that or it could also mean that you are losing energy so take note of those things and um it's um, going to uh, help you now another thing is that um if you see um blood on the floor okay if you see blood on the floor um indicating some kind of danger all right and um at this time you should be very careful of someone you visit okay people you visit you know um people you interact with even at this time because at this time you need sensitivity you need high level of sensitivity in the sense that you know you need people to you know you you, you have to be very careful of people that comes around you people you visit the reason is because some kind of a person might be planning some kind of evil for you all right and the evil we are talking about it might not be the person is taking knife or in the waking life wants to kill you or something but it's a kind of harm all right the kind of harm that this enemy this enemies wants to um um plan for you all right so you have to be very careful it's a message for you that you should you should take note of is a message that you should you take note of when you see blood on the floor it signifies some kind of danger and you should also pray even at this time whenever you see blood on the floor you should also pray against any form of danger that may that may cause a kind of um, um loss of life okay you should counter it you know many at times the enemy comes in the dream like i've said to fight against us and once you can well, the only thing that you can use to overcome this evil dreams this fight this battle in your dream is through prayers that is the only thing you can use to subdue it that's the only thing you can use to to overcome this evil attack of the enemy you know the, the enemy might even they come you know even if they, they can't catch you in the in your waking life you know they might come in your dream when you are asleep and you are helpless in your dream you know they come and one of the ways you can have said that before that it is true prayer so you must pray against any form of um, loss of life when you see blood on the floor so you have to be very very careful and prayerful in this all right and um another thing is that um when you see the blood um the bloody head okay you know someone appear you know you just see the person with blood all over his head all right in the dream now that's the message that is being passed across to you this message is telling you that there is someone that needs your attention urgently 
all right someone around you needs attention that for instance if someone comes to you even at that time to seek for help you should not hold back your help you know which means you have the position you have um the, the grace all right to um attend to the person and um, either um solve the press person's problem which means god has given you the ability god has given you the capacity to solve the person's problem to solve um, or, or bring about solution to what that person um, um, is seeking for so seeing a bloody head which means someone needs your attention urgently another thing is that when you see blood in the hand okay you see blood in your hand and um it's a message to you personally all right the message is being directed to you and um which, which means you should need to pay attention to yourself and um you should need to pay attention to your work you need to pay attention to your relationship you need to pay attention to your um your spiritual life which means you need to be in control which means you need to be in control of this aspect i just mentioned the reason is because someone else is my someone else might be controlling you you know there are some people that don't even have a say all right you know whatever anything say to them that's the, they, they believe it they accept it whatsoever decision someone takes for them that is what they accept whatsoever thing someone says to them that's what they accept they feel okay whatever you say is okay but once you see blood in your hands it's a message to you a direct message to you that you need to pay attention to is telling you that um, you need to be in charge you need to be in control of your of your of your relationship of your work you know of your life generally so you must not take this for granted now another thing is that now when you see blood now a flow of blood okay someone might be say flow of blood hope it's not accident <laughs> all right that's why i said this video is not here to scare you all right it's just to make you understand some things and uh, make you have understanding of the dream you have had in the past so, all right or someone might be discussing with you that is a dream i have and you somehow have the understanding you should be able to chip in one or two things because of this dream they are not from my head but according to the leading of the holy spirit all right so you must understand that um when you see the flow of blood uh, don't say that it's an accident no 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 start living in fear all right which means there are things that um, you are doing that involve so many people you know i told you blood has to do with life of people so once you see flow of blood you know around which means that um you you are you are involved in so many things you are involved in too much of things all right okay so you must you know try and um, slow down slow down in the sense that um you know once you involved yourself in so much thing you know as human beings to you you are here you are here you are there you are there there is a tendency if care is not taken you can break down all right once you see yourself having dreams of, of of flow of blood all right it's telling you that you are involving in so many things all right you are involving yourself with so many people and if you keep doing this it might result to kind of a breakdown for you all right so i read about a man of god that actually died due to stress and all that yeah god is uh, mindful of us like i used to say god is mindful of our health god is mindful of what we eat god is mindful full of every aspect of our life all right even our hair he numbers it he knows the number of our hair so how much more that he will not be mindful of us so he's mindful so once you see this kind of dream is trying to tell you that you are involving in so many things you are involved in too much of things that you just need to slow down so that you don't break down and i pray that god in heaven will uphold you and um, give you the grace to be able to be sensitive in this aspect of your life all right and if you are out there you have not given your life to christ all these things i'm saying is by the power of the holy ghost is by the power of god almighty that is the only thing that can that is the only name that can set you free that is the only name that can set you free from the bondage of sin that is the only name that can set you free from the bondage of the the, the wickedness you know the devil is out there seeking for whom he may devour the holy name that can 
deliver you from the shackles of sin is that name jesus i want you to just take a bold step and walk up to him and accept him as your lord and savior now if you want to talk to me personally i want you to look at the channel email address that is running on your screen feel free to join me send your dreams if you don't understand any of your dreams and you feel you cannot just drop them in the comment section for the whole world to see i want you to just make use of the email address drop your email with me drop your uh, uh, um, 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 your, your your dreams with me and i believe that god in heaven will meet with you and i wait your testimony you will share your testimony with me and i believe that god in heaven will never ever leave you alone god bless you till i see you in the next episode feel free to join me on my social media handles at radio prophetess facebook twitter and um, instagram at radio prophetess may the lord god almighty and the peace of the lord be with you may the presence of the lord never depart from you till i see you in the next episode of the dream series just have this at the back of your mind that god is always mindful of you take care and god bless you bye for now